Penned by Athol Fugard and debuting on Broadway in 1982, Master Harold and the Boys stands as an acclaimed theatrical piece delving into the pervasive issues of racism and prejudice amidst the backdrop of apartheid-era South Africa. Set against the rainy ambience of Port Elizabeth, South Africa, the narrative unfolds within the confines of a St. George's Park tea room. Here, two middle-aged black South African men, Sam and Willie, engage in banter while tending to their duties of cleaning the floor and rehearsing for an upcoming ballroom dance contest. Sam, acting as a mentor, aids Willie in perfecting his dance steps and offers counsel regarding his relationship woes with his girlfriend and dance partner, Hilda. Amidst accusations of infidelity and missed rehearsals, Sam subtly hints at the possibility of domestic abuse, suggesting that Willie's behavior might be the cause of Hilda's absence. The scene is interrupted by the arrival of Hallie, the 17-year-old son of the tea room's white proprietors, returning from school. Engaging in playful banter with the two men, who have served his family for years, Hallie shares a particularly warm bond with Sam, while Willie assumes a more submissive role, addressing Hallie as Master Harold. As the afternoon progresses, Hallie's unease grows upon learning of his father's impending return from the hospital, an individual characterized by his violent, racist tendencies and his war-induced disability. Conversations between Hallie and Sam traverse various topics, including Hallie's academic pursuits, his contemplation of societal reform, and their mutual reflections on historical figures deemed to possess significant influence. From Napoleon to Darwin, Shakespeare to Jesus, their discourse settles on Alexander Fleming as the epitome of impactful individuals. Amidst these exchanges, nostalgic recollections surface, evoking memories of Hallie's childhood visits to Sam's humble abode, nestled within the boarding house owned by his mother, where moments of joy and innocence were once cherished. Willie eagerly joins the conversation, and soon they find themselves immersed in jovial chatter reminiscing about their shared experiences. They engage in games, offering Hallie brief reprieves from what he recalls as a life overshadowed by nothing but misery. Hallie fondly recollects the time when Sam crafted a kite for him, declaring it as his most cherished memory. Despite initial skepticism due to its makeshift construction from scraps, Hallie's elation knows no bounds when the kite soars successfully. Reflecting on that moment, Hallie questions why Sam didn't sit beside him on the park bench that day. Sam deflects, citing work obligations. Hallie muses on the peculiarity of a young white boy flying a kite with an older black man who could be his father. When Sam prompts whether the peculiarity stemmed from racial differences, Hallie concedes, adding that it would have been equally unusual with his disabled father. He expresses a longing for the simplicity of their past, where life felt more manageable. Interrupting their exchange, Hallie receives a call from his mother informing him of his father's desire to return home, prompting Hallie's desperate attempts to dissuade her. Fearing his mother's compliance, Hallie directs his frustration towards Sam, who calmly redirects his focus to homework, an essay on a cultural event, a task Hallie resents. Despite his initial reluctance, encouraged by Sam, Hallie reluctantly begins the assignment. Still simmering with frustration, Hallie orders Sam to resume washing the windows. As Sam and Willie resume their chores and conversation, the topic shifts to the upcoming competition and Hilda, with Sam urging Willie to cease his violence towards her. Hallie's temper flares when their exchange escalates into a scuffle nearby, prompting him to demand an end to the dancing and dismiss it as a simplistic pursuit. This sparks a dialogue with Sam about the significance of dance, leading Sam to eloquently expound on its metaphorical representation of life, a fleeting yet harmonious interlude where conflicts cease to exist. Enthralled by the profound symbolism of dance, Hallie seizes upon the idea of centering his essay around the upcoming dance event. With fervor, all three dive into fleshing out this concept, their enthusiasm palpable. However, their momentum is abruptly halted by another call from Hallie's mother, announcing her imminent return with his father. Initially incensed, Hallie's demeanor shifts to one of warmth and hospitality upon speaking with his father. Yet, once the call ends, Hallie's suppressed frustrations erupt into a torrent of vitriol. Directed first at his mother and then at Sam, his anger manifests in a cruel imitation of his father's behavior. Stripping away their dignity, Hallie begins to assert dominance over Sam and Willie, insisting that Sam address him as Master Harold henceforth, despite Sam's solemn warning against such a decision. As tensions escalate, Hallie's verbal assaults escalate to a despicable climax, culminating in a repugnant act of spitting at Sam. Tempted to retaliate, Sam restrains himself upon Willie's reminder of Hallie's youthfulness. 
When Hallie falls silent, Sam unleashes a heartfelt lament, recounting past acts of compassion and guidance, emphasizing his earnest desire to nurture Hallie into a better person than his father. With a heavy heart, Sam elucidates the painful truth behind their segregated past, cautioning Hallie against perpetuating the same prejudices. Consumed by shame and remorse, Hallie prepares to leave, but Sam, in a last-ditch effort to salvage their bond, suggests building another kite. However, reality intervenes as the rain pours outside, symbolizing the impossibility of flight in such conditions. Departing with a heavy heart, Hallie leaves Sam and Willie behind, finding solace in the comforting melody of a jukebox tune. In a poignant display of solidarity, the two men dance together, a silent promise exchanged as Willie pledges to refrain from harming Hilda any further. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.